So today we're going to go over cleans and snatches and why you shouldn't be throwing your kettlebell away. So here I'm showing a couple backswing drops and catches of the kettlebell with various hand positioning. So here is my normal kind of thumb forward slash 45 degree. Here's a slow motion drop catch. Right there is about that 45 degree hand placement on the handle. And as I come up, there's the acceleration pull. My elbows stand close to the body. Kettlebell isn't going up and over my wrist or up and over the shoulder any higher than I want to catch it. I'm catching it right in the rack position. Slight absorption if I need it. Now this isn't the heaviest kettlebell, it's a 16 kilogram. Notice there is a thumb back style, slightly different. Thumb back has to rotate more. So if that's your style, pay attention to it. You have to change it. Now there's the drop. Notice I'm leaning back slightly. I'm not throwing that kettlebell away. I'm not launching it away from my body. I'm kind of letting it drop, turning the hand upward and letting the kettlebell drop to its side. Here's what not to do. And now this is a big thing for what I see a lot of beginners throwing that kettlebell away. You're giving that extra speed, okay? By launching that kettlebell away from your body, you might feel like you're getting it into an arc, but you're actually throwing, putting more energy in that's necessary. So don't do that. If you wanna get, here's another side. We're gonna show you a little bit more from that inside. So as you lean that shoulder back, let that weight just drop. Boom, the elbow stays closer to the body. I can't say exactly on, but closer to the body. Dropping, absorbing, coming right back up. I'm not putting any extra energy into what that kettlebell already has. So now, I'm gonna go a little bit different. We're gonna talk about hand insertion. See if you can see a little bit more. So there's my 45 degree. Notice how that kettlebell isn't coming up and over. Notice how I'm sliding that hand into the handle at a 45 degree angle. There, as I'm catching it, it's not jerking my elbow, which would jerk my shoulder. It's not extending my elbow very, very rapidly. And I'm taking it only as high as I need to. I don't wanna bring that kettlebell, no matter how heavy it is. I don't wanna bring it any higher than I have to. Otherwise, you can do something else. You wanna bring it all the way up, and just snatch it. But before you start snatching, you should be really, really good and proficient at your cleans. Notice this, lean back, that shoulder drop, and the bell just falls. Hand up, the bell just falls. I'm not throwing it away. Now here comes a little bit slow motion, I believe. Look at that, I turn that palm up, and I catch, I move my hand, I catch right in the middle. Now even I saw some Instagram stuff on where you should catch it in the hand and the palm fingers or whatever It's what works best for you, but notice how that insertion. I didn't bring the handle all the way up Bringing it up hand insertion Kettlebell isn't too high. It'll look the same with a 48 kilogram or a 16 kilogram Just depends on how much force I put into it. Anyway message me for some coaching or form consultations swing this and lift long See ya.